If equipped, the tire pressure monitoring system monitors pressure in your road tires. If tire pressure gets low, you'll hear an audible chime and the TPMS light will appear in your instrument cluster. A low tire pressure message will also appear. You'll see which tire is underinflated along with all of the tire pressure values. You'll need to inflate your tires to the manufacturer's recommended tire pressure. You'll find that information on the placard on the inside edge of the driver's side door. Even if the light turns on for a short time and then turns off, your tire pressure still needs to be checked. Tire pressures change with air temperature change. Keep that in mind when you check tires inside a garage, especially in the winter. Tire pressure may increase from heat during operation. Do not reduce this normal pressure buildup or your tire pressure will be too low. And do not try to use TPMS as a tire pressure gauge. The warnings do not automatically turn off when proper pressure is returned to the tire. Once your tires are properly inflated, you might need to drive a bit to reset the system. In the city, you may need to drive above 15 miles per hour or 24 kilometers per hour for a preset period of time before the system will reset. The warnings will stay on, however, until all tires have been properly inflated. If equipped, the Tire Fill Alert provides an auditory notification when the recommended tire pressure is reached. To use TFA, check that it's enabled in the Uconnect system, make sure the vehicle is in park, and then place the ignition in run mode. Once a change in tire pressure is detected, the hazard warning lights will turn on to indicate it has entered TFA mode. The horn will sound once when the recommended pressure is reached. If you exceed the recommended pressure by 10% while inflating or deflating a tire, the horn will continue to sound three times every five seconds. The selectable tire fill alert works much the same way, but you can select different pressures for the front and rear tires. In the STFA customer settings menu of your touchscreen, scroll through the ranges for the front and rear axles until the desired pressure has been selected. You can now begin inflating or deflating one tire at a time. Keep in mind, STFA has a minimum selectable pressure of 15 PSI. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, please see your owner's information.